So what frequency 6G will go into use? First of all, I want to start with the fact that there is no spectrum assignments for 6G spectrum and we don't know exactly which frequencies will be used in 6G use cases. But we have a large amount of uh, different documents from telecom leaders, white papers, articles, uh, scientific research. And based on that, we can conclude what frequencies will be used. So let's start to observe possible variants. Let's uh, make overview. 6G will definitely reuse uh, spectrum in sub 7 gigahertz or frequency range 1 as we may call it. And of course frequency range 2 from 24 and until 71 gigahertz. We can also definitely say based on different articles and scientific research that new frequency bands will be available for 6G. Uh, this is from 71 gigahertz and up until 330 gigahertz. They have unofficial names FR4, FR5, 6 frequency ranges. So let's keep those names in our mind because it is useful to understand that terminology you can came across with uh, those possible terminology in different article papers data sheets so it can be useful for you to keep it in mind but this is unofficial names for now and there are some discussions to use frequency range from 7 gigahertz and uh, to 24 gigahertz for future cg applications and maybe even for 5G advanced technology, future specifications in 5G. This is FR3 range, which seems very suitable in terms of coverage and capacity balance. That's why they call it new essential 6G um, range. Whereas frequency range 4, 5, 6 is uh, considered as a kind of a new complementary uh, 6G ranges only for particular use cases not for uh, large uh, coverage not for uh, extreme coverage applications for wide uh, range uh, cases this is maybe only for joint communication and sensing for accurate positioning for radars gesture recognitions very short communication about or 10 meters or 100 meters but with extremely uh, high data rates until 1 terabit per second. Now let's translate uh, our scale from frequency from gigahertz to the wavelengths and what we can see we can see that uh, this range we may call centimeter waves so FR1 and FR3. Here is millimeter waves starting from FR2 and until I think until FR6 and uh, from around 300 gigahertz we can name sub millimeter waves and here is the range what we usually consider in, uh, any articles up the white papers as a sub terahertz communication so this is from 100 gigahertz and until 1 terahertz so this is a sub terahertz range any frequencies and applications that works in this range we may call as a sub terahertz communication so again this also uh, terminology could be useful for you uh, to keep in mind when you work with uh, some standards with a device with antennas what we conclude from this 6g will be a mix of spectrum ranging from sub 1 gigahertz until 1 terahertz this is impressive i think uh, 6g will be uh, everywhere in a spectrum from sub 1 gigahertz and until 1 terahertz uh, this is again very challenging in terms of hardware in terms of channel models mima applications antennas and so on so we will talk about it as well uh, now let's briefly talk about another terminology IEEE terminology in parallel to 3GPP there is a IEEE organization which also take part in uh, wireless 
standardization in different wireless standards and they have their own terminology this is G band for example this part is X band K, K, U, K, A band which is used for radars uh, for drones uh, for uh, space communication basically uh, satellite communication works in these uh, bands usually here is also Q band V U E D band W band J and Y so again uh, it would be good for you to keep uh, these uh, namings in your mind for example you may came across with antenna or with a radar which work in D band and you need to understand the uh, approximate at least approximate uh, scale uh, approximate range of spectrum uh, so in order to understand what we are talking about